Uh, hey everyone, Two Snake here. Uh, this tutorial is going to be a little bit different than normal because instead of playing uh, the game for you, I want to take a look at some footage of the tricks that I want to show you because uh, there's a, they're a little bit more involved than what we're used to. So uh, this is the cave skip for level four, and I think the cave skip it is important is an important trick to learn because it saves a bunch of time, like seven seconds. But also, just going through the motions of the cave skip allows you to move through the level uh, more easily than going without the cave skip strats. Additionally, there's no risk associated with the cave skip strats. Um, when you go through all the motions and you get to the place where you boost into the ceiling, if the bat is not the right bat, you don't have to take it and you can just drop down like you would do normally and take the fairies across the water. So let's take a look. First things first here, uh, when you drop here, you need to do three whip strikes. It's important to wait until Simon stands up from his uh, clunking animation. Uh, before you do the three whip strikes and what these three whip strikes allow you to do is uh it's a timing mechanism to allow you to lose perfectly 66 frames so that when we get to a visual indicator later which is the merman's position relative to a candle we're able to use that visual indicator to determine whether or not we stop time on a correct frame or not um this is a two frame trick uh but the reason why it's important to know when you stop time is because you can use a pause buffer to basically roll the dice and tr and, and see if RNG will give you a different bat uh, than the bad bat you're basically guaranteed if you if you read it correctly and you were off on your two frame window. So again, we're going to do three whip strikes here and immediately we're going to jump up here and grab the big heart and grab the stopwatch and grab a second big heart here. And then right here, um, I use a very specific visual indicator for where to jump and it's going to be it's going to be on the fifth block in on this platform and it's the little black triangle next to the skull you see how underneath simon on the bottom row of skulls there's three scrolls three scrolls in a row i'm basically jumping right before the end of the third skull there and i'm jumping i'm going to jump here and i'm going to break this candle uh which is in, it's important to do because that candle drops a big whip and we actually don't and we don't want it the big whip yet because the cave skip is much easier to do with the small whip. That's actually why we've only been using the small whip for the entire game up until this point is so that we can do the cave skip more easily. So we're going to break that candle and then we're going to right when we land, we're going to jump again and we're going to activate the stopwatch. Um, ideally, when this fish man over on the left, the one that's right above the candle, he needs to be two pixels above the top of the flame or he needs to be on this hit. I'm looking at the bottom of his feet or he needs to be with the bottom of his feet touching the flame. It's a little bit hard to tell because the, the flames flicker. Uh, every few frames or so so the flame will get smaller and bigger smaller and bigger I'm talking about the bigger animation where the tops of the flames are fully rendered So you're gonna be two pixels above the flames or right with the flames Those are the two frames where you know that you got the uh, the cave skip so on this next week shot we're going to uh, stop time and then uh, Once we get up here and we see that bat on the right start to swoop down We need to stop time again. So we're gonna stop time here uh, as the bat swoops down. So this is actually a little bit tighter. It, it feels pretty free to be honest, but it's only a five frame window. And basically what we're looking for here is we're looking for the bat to be low enough that we can boost off of them. Uh, not too low to where we're going to miss the boost. And we need to be able to activate the stopwatch close enough to where our, our whip strike is going to break that candle that's right there next to the merman. Uh, that candle contains the holy water, which is a critical item for the rest of the screen. And then we're up in the cave. Uh, what I actually do here is, is a very prescripted uh, routine. Um, even though we're, we've done the hard part of the trick, we're in the cave. The entire reason we do the cave skip is so that we can save a cycle on these fairies on the bottom. Um, and you actually can't really waste too much time once you're up there. So you come up with a routine for yourself or just do the routine that I do. Which is, and let's, let's take a look at it. It's going to be me jumping off uh, onto the second platform. I'm going to stop. I'm going to throw holy water. I'm going to drop down, jump, jump, fall, jump, and fall. When I fall onto that fairy there, um, as soon as Simon stands up from the clunk animation, I'm going to tap jump. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the big heart there. I'm going to throw the holy water at that candle. But I actually don't have to stand there. and, As you can see, I don't have to stand there and wait for the big whip. I can just go ahead and jump and then I'll get the big whip mid-flight. And then do a jump holy water throw. A jump, the slight delay holy water throw. And that's going to make sure you kill the bat. One last note I want to make about the cave skip is that even though it's a two frame window, which is somewhat challenging to pull off, uh, it's not that hard to actually be successful at because of the pause buffer. 
if your fish man is not on one of the two pixel locations that we talked about earlier, you can tap pause briefly, uh, pause and unpause to uh, kind of reset your RNG. And this quite technically has a 50-50 chance of getting you uh, the desired pattern. So I recorded a short clip of what the cave skip looks like with the pause buffer. Enjoy.